Um, <laughs> on behalf of the uh, graduating class, I would like to welcome you to the 40th graduation of College of the Atlantic. We often think of this as uh, our graduation from COA, but uh, it's perhaps more accurate to say that we are graduating into what comes next. COA has allowed us to do some pretty amazing work to get ready for this moment, but I believe that there are even more exciting things ahead. In addition to my task as welcomer, it is my very great pleasure to announce that the seniors this year have put together a gift of nearly $900 for the Senior Project Gift Fund. This fund will provide future students with money that they would otherwise not have available for the culmination of their studies here. Since we will only draw from the interest, uh, this future funding will be quite sustainable. <laughs> um, this might bring to mind some of the other things we've learned about sustainability during our time here at COA, such as that one day we may even have to sustain ourselves. though hopefully not too soon. <laughs> Mooching from friends and relatives is, after all, a sign of affection, <laughs> one that we would not want to deprive of anyone. Um, but senior projects, although they may become a bit easier down the road from this gift, um, do not encapsulate all of the challenges that we've had to deal with while here, or wrestle with. The classes, internships, human ecology essays, overdue books, committees, presentations, ride requests, juice machines. <laughs> None of this whole college thing has really been all that easy. And the hardest challenge, a question perhaps not yet answered, has been deciding what to do with ourselves. Some of you might ask what sort of things we will do now that we have these new skills from COA. Things that might resemble a job, that pay well, that change lives, or that even might change the world. You can ask us these details, but we're likely to say you'll find out. <laughs> because we'll let you know when we know, which will be when we do it. And uh, I actually have a little metaphor here too. <laughs> metaphor, not analogy. Um, and that is that this whole process might resemble something like giving birth. It's, uh, or so I would guess. You get, um, <laughs> you get x-rays, sonograms, tarot card readings, vibes, any number of predictions that you hope will reveal something. Um, but nobody really knows what it looks like until it comes out. <laughs> and uh, we may also find out sooner, or actually sooner or later than would be ideal, and not in the most comfortable way. And perhaps the only assurance is that there will be embarrassing pictures, hefty bills, and now maybe even recordings of what happens. <laughs> um, you do find out what happens, though, and it's often very exciting. Um, so welcome to the close to this part of our education, and thank you very much for coming. It is very exciting. Um, COA has offered us a truly amazing experience and the foundation to do even greater things. Here are a few perspectives from uh, other students on their time here. And we get to first hear from Samali Sinasalo.